Ladies and gentlemen, Borals McGorals, I am your host, and then there's this guy. And we're going to be playing some mono green today in the uh, the early access. It's not mono green. Throne okay, green white, green white, he's right. The Throne the throne of Eldraine early access uh, streamer event, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. This is a sponsored stream by Wizards of the Coast. Thank you, thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for the invite. Really appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. And um, we're going to play this deck. It was submitted by Jake P., Jacob P and uh, otherwise known as Guardian Links and he just sent it over and he's like I just built this like 10 minutes ago so let's try it out for Barkhide Troll for Hualli's Raptor solid two drops I don't know why I started the two drop I just kind of do sometimes four Gilded Goose four Pelt Collector two Stone Coil Serpent nice to just pump mana into later in the game uh, one Evolution Sage four three Yorvo three Knight two Unbreakable Formation three Questing three Vivian and four God Eternal Oketra uh, only 23 lands, but we have four Gilded Geese and uh, our mana base. Our curve kind of stops at four. And I went to I went to concede. These are all best of one matches because we're just testing out decks and new cards and things like that for Throne of Eldraine. I went to submit my deck, and Magic Arena was like, Hey, are you sure you want to submit this? You have no sideboard cards, and you have a card that accesses the sideboard. And I was like, Oh, yeah. Choose a creature card from outside the game and reveal it in your hand. So we just made a sideboard of a bunch of one ofs that we might want to search for Charming Prince. Hushbringer, Crawl Harpooner, Hanged Executioner, Thrashing Brontodon, Knight of Autumn. There's a lot of them. Questing Beast, number four, just to, just to find it. Shifting Ceratops, Cavalier of Thorns, God Eternal Ronis, Tulsimir, Trostani, Meteor Golem, Endray's Forerunners, and a Voracious Hydra. So a pretty sweet mix of just versatile. It's got some life gain. It's got some ways to deal with enchantments and artifacts and flyers. So if we ever want to ultimate negative five Vivian then we can do that um but yeah I mean deck looks sweet I mean we Jake has submitted it without, <laughs> without any castles and I figure because there's temple gardens and there are basic lands castles are just free basically castle castle Garenbrig and castle Ardenvale so just nice ways to to pump your man into things so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna play right now let's put your vote up here oh oh it just actually Removed him from the deck instead, which is not what I wanted. Um, how let's go here. And we'll add that other Yorvo. That's a sideboard. Let's go to the deck. Yorvo. Okay. Done. Oh, let's name it. Uh ELD. <coughs> Green white aggro. Easy enough. <coughs> All right. Castles were a great ad. No, I don't like Karn's Bastion just because our, our our mana requirements are too our color requirements are too too specific. Your life total is a resource, so don't be afraid to spend it, Michael. Okay? God, his mouth is so small, I can't Buddy. even move it. All I do is spend life to draw cards. Guys, can you... I just need you to zoom in on Michael's mouth and just really take a good look at how small it is. Look, at, look how tiny it is. It's unbelievable. Wow. I don't even know how you can eat things. I feel like you should probably be eating through a straw, you know? That doesn't make any sense. Why not? Just doesn't, okay? Why? Because I said so. That literally, that makes no sense. Wow, this is a great look at this curve. Pelt collector into Barkhide, into Yorvo. <clears throat> oh, Jake. The reason that is is because in grammar. Uh, you always spell out numbers 1 through 9, but anything 10 or above, you actually write the number out. You write the numeral out. Hashtag just grammar facts. That's not inconsistent. Because if you have like 27, you don't want to write the number 27. It's totally, it's completely consistent. One through nine, spell it out. 
Yes, but... <laughs> yeah. Now you're just being contrarian. Typical, typical Jake. This whole time I was under the impression that they're... The reason is you! Oh, God. It was either that or I read it as Soldier Boy and I was like, You! That was the other way I read it. But... How big is Goro? Four counters? Three, I believe. It's four. He's a four-four. Three, I believe. You win this round, Jimmy Brown. Oh wow! Master of the bridge. I feel like our curve is getting better and better with all these, all these beautiful creatures. Get him! Get him in there. Oh my God! They're at ten already. You're basically dead. Holy Jesus! We also do have lethal. Yeah, we can just fight, fight whatever they got. Fight him if he got him. Does any of these guys have trample? No, not one of them. <laughs> and the reason is you. Suck <laughs> that. I hate that song. I really agree. I feel for the counter. That creature's power is greater than your own. Okay, so. Oh! So, whenever any creature enters the battlefield, Yorvo gets a counter? Yeah. Well, isn't that special? From the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is beautiful. I just want to get a blocker out of the way, right? This creature does things. Get him. Get him. I had to wear pants to work today. I forgot how itchy they are. God, buddy, I'm so sorry. Vivian gives tramps? That's pretty good. What, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hit a twelve. They were at ten. And they had they had five power of blocks, so I don't think that would have worked. I mean it wouldn't have worked, that's the point. Well, you want it anyway. Yeah, but it, I just wanted to go over my options. Jake, this deck is unbeatable. <laughs> Literally undefeated right now. We also did not draw a single white source in that game, so. <coughs> you only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. No, I think we have ten. We have four Temple Garden, two planes, two castles, and two blossoms. Okay. Okay. You. This hand is. Of course, this is the hand where it's awkward. It's just fine. It's fine, but it's awkward. It's just fine. If this is a temple garden, woo. Wow. Wow. Crank that, Michael B. Far spike. Whoa. Whoa. You can hear all the sounds of nature. All of them? Yeah. But can you crank that soldier boy? Yeah, probably. Can you see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? No. <laughs> Typical. Oh, it's Pelty! It's your little Pelty boy! Is it? Is it your little Pelty boy? Hmm. Mike B, can you crank with all the soldiers of the wind? Wow. He can, but he'll try. You don't know me. Next turn, going Bark Hide Troll, proliferate, proliferate onto both of these, and then Hawali's Raptor. Like, this is two four fours. That's pretty good. I just hope they don't do anything crazy. Nope, don't care about that. <coughs> oh, Temple Garden was nice. Mm, Temple Garden all nice. Yes, mm, yes, mm, yes. What are you doing? Oh, 
That's pretty nutso in the butt, so. Oh, I thought this was a 3 3, actually. That would have been significantly better. I hear there's a song by Crank Ahontas. Hmm. <laughs> what does that even mean, man? What a radical idea. Let's feel three. Sure. Wasn't there a 3-3 three, three that had prolif- that- Wasn't there a dinosaur that was a 3-3? Three, three? You're a dinosaur. Got him. God, he really did. I feel so bad right now. Capture those dinosaurs, those romping, stomping Michaelbees. Oh, it's- it's your- it's your boy, Yorvo. I'm almost tempted to unbreakable form eight here. I think I just want to be your villain. Stay home, Goose. Thank you. Risa, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Risa, more like resub, am I right? No. Shut up. Just shut up. All right, well, we just gotta hope to survive this turn, I think. <clears throat> you should play that goose game. I should play that goose game. Darksteel Spork, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. What the hell is the goose game? You don't know the, the goose game? No. In honor of Throne of Eldraine and Halloween, will you f please stream one day dressed in a full pelt regalia? No, no, I will not. Unless you wanna buy the full pelt regalia and send it to my house. And even then. I'm not sure. Unlimited Goose Game. Untitled Goose Game, Michael. Oh. By House House. <sighs> ah, sure. Poor Yorvo. Goose dot game. Boom ba boom ba boom ba 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 boom boom boom. Look at this guy. Do you think they attack here? They do not. Oh boy. <clears throat> um This is tempting. What is this 10? Yep. Third. <coughs> A bold strategy, Cotton. This guy has trampled. That was not ideal. And undefeated. Buddy, I know. How do I... Can I get the Goose game on Steam, or is it only an Epic Store game? So this is literally you just be a goose. Yeah, it's a goose simulator where you're a goose and you try to do shenanigans to everyone. Hmm. It's a quality game. Have you played it yet? What if while flying over the board, the Arc Light Phoenix was struck by a baseball and exploded? <laughs> Have I played it yet? No, I haven't played it yet. I don't even own it. 
How would I have played it? How do you know it's perfect? Did I say it was perfect? I said it's a quality game. Yeah, you said, well, how do you know that? Why would you say it was perfect? I never said that. I may have misremembered. Oh. Well, you see, Michael, the internet is comprised of things called reviews, which give you insight as to, uh... I don't trust any of those. Okay. <coughs> Keep. Oh, jeez, Rick. Well, I don't know, man. It's just a, it's kind of a, oh, it's about a goose game. I don't know. Well, I have no desire to play this for two, unfortunately. But it would, pu it would proliferate on, it would pump this guy. Oh, this deck needs once upon a time, dude, for sure. Morty, you went back to the rug shop? No one goes back to the rug shop. What? Seven dwarves? Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, we're 100% actually putting, like, four Once Upon a Times in this deck. And we're just taking out, like, three lands to do it. Wow. A bold move. Is it? To take out three lands to do it? If you don't get a land, you just play the... Once upon a time for zero and find a land. Yeah, but still then we're cutting our lands down to like what? Nineteen lands? Twenty dummy. Maybe you're right, I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. I, mean, I think we're just playing this as a two two. <clears throat> it's a snake. Is it? Yeah. It is. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> no. No? No. No, you're not going to excuse me? Never. Okay. Oh, God. I always want to play this first. Ah, we can just wait. Can you imagine if we drew a three drop and then a land? That'd be such gas. Because then we can go land, pelt collector, counter on this guy, three drop, counter on both these, all three of these guys. No, probably just this guy. And then next turn we play this. Can you even imagine? Okay, well. Got to turn a little catch for next turn, boy. I would drape myself in pelts if it was socially acceptable. Are we 3-0 with this deck right now? It's been like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Remember when Randy Johnson hit a bird with his fastball? Oh. oh! This pitcher could throw so hard, his fastball once killed a f***ing bird. That's insane. That bird literally exploded. <laughs> God, that bird's just flying along, and then he no longer exists. Wow, that is a... Oh, those are wild cards. You can redeem wild cards for any card of the same rarity. <clears throat> Let's try... 23 lands? Those are wild cards. I'm gonna cut one for us for once upon a time. Actually, I just don't wanna... For any card of the same rarity. So here's the problem. If I don't draw to my opening hand, I just don't wanna... It's pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, I just don't wanna cast it. Ooh, those are wild cards. <coughs> are there any other sweet green creatures we're missing? Any card of the same rare. Ooh, ooh, those are ooh, wild cards. All right, stop ooh, talking about wild. Those are wild cards. You can redeem wild cards for any card of the Go same away. rarity. Go away. Do you remember that Go from? Go to the deck builder to use your wild cards. I'm good, thanks. I appreciate it. You can turn her off. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I think there is a way to do it, but I, I bet it's on that question it. mark. Love struck beast. I also like a lot. <clears throat> but then we have no other <clears throat> we have no other real one ones in the deck unfortunately can I sort this by standard um corset nope uh you 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 okay 
<laughs> My name is Michael. I have the hiccups. Now I don't know. Is it a good song? Oh, I know, buddy. I know it. Alright, I think that's it. Let's check out two drops just to be. Two drops, two drops. I'll do two and four. Let's see what we got here. I just want to make sure there's nothing better. We're not playing Growth Chamber Guardians. Oof. That guy's aggressive. What about Surferon? Gives another creature plus two, plus two whenever it attacks. Just a two, two, or two. That's not terrible. What would you cut for it? <clears throat> cut you for it. Ouch. Stings real deep. Got him. What about Nullhide Ferox? That dude just fat. I also like Wicked Wolf. What a Wicked Wolf do there. Yeah, Wicked Wolf is good. I like that. A lot. Do you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, we do not have any great hinges in here. <clears throat> I think we're too low to the low to the ground here. Let's see what we got here. I can actually see cutting like Nah, I like Vivian, actually. The Trample's super nice. I could see cutting one Goddess. I think the four Goddess Eternal Catcher is really aggressive. You falling asleep? Maybe. Holy Jesus, man. Get your life together. Holy Jesus, man. Is that... Holy Jesus, man. Holy Tiny. Jesus, man? <clears throat> is that... Is that Holy Jesus, man? Just a one of? A fun of? Yeah, I think it's fine. <clears throat> uh, Ferocious Pup is actually an 0-1, so it actually wouldn't help Lovestruck Beast. I've I've resolved a God Eternal Oketra, but then I also had no lands in hand when I did it too, so. What is this cable? What is this super long cable that's down here? I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with poor cable management. Who do you think I am? Mike's, Mike's daddy? What'd you say? You know how I manage cables? You don't. I shove them. I don't know what that means. Shove them in the dirt. Shove them in the dirt? Yep. What the fuck does that mean? Shove them in the dirt, boy. I mean, to be fair, like, your nightstand is literally a computer case box, so... You're not really the the picture of of organization. So it's the job done. Yeah, it really, it's good. <clears throat> you you basically live as like you you live like you're a squatter. <clears throat> Look at these two golden geeses. What are you gonna do? Kill my goose? No, like a computer case. Like <clears throat> a computer the box a computer case comes in. Like a Corsair box or like a Lian Lee box or whatever whatever case that your computer box your whatever box your computer case came in. Like that big rectangle box. That's where you just put this stuff on, like as a nightstand. It's a good nightstand, man. <laughs> It's not. You look like a hobo. You know, joke's on you. I got another goose. I'm just a recycler. What did you recycle? The box. To a nice tan. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, 
play that big <coughs> four four. What am I gonna play it with? Oh, where'd your? Oh, you don't have any treasure. Okay. You did. Good. I thought it made a treasure when it came into play. It it did. What do we use it on? What's on the board right now? Just the goose. What else? Just the goose. That's the only thing that's on the board? Yeah. Teferi's not on the board? Oh, he bounced it. Oh, there you go. You. You're you're catching on. God, they grow up so fast, don't they? Oh, what a jerk. <coughs> <coughs> All my positions are packed up right now. It's the only thing in my place is an arrow. The difference is Mike's lived here for two years, so... That's the... This is just his regular home life. He does live in a garbage can, so I won't make fun of his nightstand. That's fair. Man, you get a nightstand shamed. It's not a nightstand, this. it's a box that you just put things on top of. I guess I could go buy one of those. <laughs> but you won't, so it's... Probably not. No. It's whatever. Let's try this. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Look at that goose getting in there. <clears throat> you might say it's loose. I bet it is all soggy from spilled drinks. <laughs> you got that condensation wow. bottom. <laughs> Tops getting all floppy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, Teferi. He did. Really should have seen that coming. He really should have. What an idiot. Yorvo. <coughs> oh no. That's really it's really rude. It's a little rude. It's not okay. Oh, I see. We'll goose it up. You can stay back. Let's not go crazy, Goosey. Sure. Man, Yorvo's, Yorvo's slamming in there. Slamming! <coughs> In related news, I bought a house today. Apparently, that's something. You John, congrats, buddy. That's insane. So that's a big thing. Man, Mike can't even get a nightstand. You bought a house? Wow. Woo! One step at a time. Oh no, Yorvo. Yeah, the problem is you haven't taken a step in two years. So, <laughs> what's well, gonna be the first step, you think? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Good talk. Good, very good. You're doing good. Those I believe in you. Breathe and listen to the sounds of the wild. <laughs> yeah, John, you live in California, dude. That's <laughs> real estate's definitely expensive. <clears throat> Look at these geese getting in there. I got that geese grew grew. And Kerwood grew. is too generous, geese. <laughs> Mike P, you want a nice <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's, I think it's only funny because I literally know he'd send a nightstand. Oh, he'd 100% do it. I'm sure he would. He's on Amazon looking right now. He's like, I could send that. <clears throat> yeah, but I want to read them of the nights. Something's up, mine gonna be alright. Alright, well, we're playing this regardless. So we got one, two, three, four. We have five mana. <clears throat> what can we Vivian for? We can just go Vivian for something, which is pretty sweet here. We can, like, get a Voracious Hydra and kill this idiot. Also, it's really not that good of a nightstand because it technically has a hole in the top because, you know, it's a. Uh because like the box. box yeah so every once in a while my nail clippers are falling then i gotta take everything off and get the nail clippers out of there but none of this compels you to just go to the store and buy a, a real piece of furniture like an adult though that's what weird that's what weirds me out 
at no point are you like, well, this is not, this is something I'll do if I move into a new house. But after two years of it, I feel like some part of you would be like, maybe I should own something real. That's what weirds me out. <sighs> um, oh God. I have one. I don't know what to do. Oh God. Run out of time, man. Actually, cancel that order. Cancel that order. <laughs> I just want to kill this thing. I don't need them to be like making three mana. Alright, that feels good. I mean, they have four cards, we have one card. He's set in his ways, he's attached to it now. <laughs> Maybe. But apparently not because the nail clippers keep falling in. Damn it, my nail clippers again. And that's like, really that's really take all my stuff. <laughs> that's really my <laughs> fault though for dropping them in there. Like I know where to put it. It's my fault, you know. <laughs> I brought this on myself. That's it, Mike B's getting <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I can't. One, two, three, four, five. God dang it. This card is so obnoxious. I mean, we get to kill it, but still. Another one of these idiots? What does that even do? Who knows? I just work here. Hey, Frank, please save me from Twitter. Just log off of it. Oh, man, I use Twitter minimally. I think I'll check it once a day, and I'll respond to, like, one thing, and that's the end. Just wrap the box in duct tape. At least it'll get a couple more years. Yeah, that's a good point. Commentary on something you never tell. Commentary on an opponent. Mike B, I ordered a nightstand that's only slightly better than a box. Well, slightly better than a box is still pretty good. It's still better than a box. Feel free to, like, draw funny things on it or something. How can he do that? It goes right. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. This will be fun to watch. <laughs> like it's a pizza order. He's like, "Hey, make a funny face on my pizza." And this guy's got vigilance. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that guy's good. What are you gonna do? Do you block or you just take four hundred? Oh, I forgot that this guy can block that. That's really sad. Wait, why did it still die? Oh, because Teferi died, so it became a 3-3. Oh, uh, that's sick. That's a good trade. Uh, this guy has Trample? Didn't... Oh, because it gave... Yeah. We didn't need to attack Tef just because it, it... I like that you lulled there. Come on. You would be surprised how cheap Nice Hands are. I bet it was like $5. <laughs> I mean, you could literally get a Nice Hand for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Like... You probably get way cheaper than that. Bigger. Way cheaper than 20 okay, bucks? way cheaper. It was 15. Like See? It was only 20. To I was only three times I was only three times off. Three times off. I'm just gonna play this now. God, the geese are so loose. We're fit enough to survive. I gotta attack with both, because then they can block one of the geese, and I really Garrick is just not a planeswalker I want to keep alive, so. I've got better friends in the wilds anywhere. Now to help the wife make shirts for Oktoberfest. Uh, it's still September, Mitchell. Might be. You can use the box that comes in as another nightstand from the other side of your bed. Wow. <laughs> I could have three <laughs> nightstands. The box that comes in, my computer box, and the nightstand. Oh, Mike, so many nightstands? Mike B is nights. Mike has an embarrassment of nightstand riches right now. <laughs> He's running out of places. He'll never run out of places to put his nail clippers. I'll just say four, five, six. Slipping a bit in the rhythm of the mics. Listen to the morning mic. You like that song? Yeah, it's great. Why does this guy have haste, too? Why does this guy have any abilities that he has? He has haste? Yeah, he has haste, vigilance, and death touch. Why 
Why does it say haste? Where does it say haste? It says it right after the vigilance and the death touch. crazy. Yeah, I don't understand it. This card is bonkers. Banana bonkers. That's like the bonkers candy, he but banana. Other stuff too, right? Yeah, his just mono text. Can be blocked with creatures tower two or less. So none of his creatures can block this. It does that we dealt to creatures in control can't be prevented. And whenever it does combat damage to an opponent, it deals damage to a planeswalker. This will be fun to watch. So I can really just go at their face right now and then kill their Teferi as well. It just does literally. Does it, all. it does it all. My other half spent my money not long ago and bought two at 99 pounds each. I was not very happy. Really? That's not... I mean, that's not bad. I, I put money into nice things, like, just because I like living... Con I like having a convenient... Oh, they're just dead. I like having a convenient life where, like, I, can, I know where my things go. I have places for all my things. I bet your Nike stand is from Ikea. My Nike stand is from Ikea. I knew it. It's like where all your stuff is from, though. It's because I just like customizing. I like I like buying Ikea stuff and then, like... Making it do what I want it to do. We're like 4 0 now? Yeah. Rio? We're like undefeated. Remember when 4 4s for 4 had downsides? Remember Nettle Gin? It was a 4 4 for 4 and it dealt you 1 damage every turn. Isn't that like all the gins? A Nettle Tooth Gin. 4 mana for 4 4. It deals 1 damage too during your upkeep. This was the nerfed version of Juzam Gin where they were like 5 5 for, for 4. That deals you with damage. Let's make a 4-4 four, four for 4 that deals you with damage. And you're like, woo! What a rate. Now they're like, 4-4 four, four for 4. Let's give it Vigilance. Let's give it Haste. Let's give it Death Touch. Let's make it so 2, two power or less can't block it. Let's make the damage unable to be prevented. Let's make it kill Planeswalkers. And you're like, okay, just stop. <laughs> just slow down. I'll keep this in. What's your favorite gin, Michael? I'm not a big fan of gin. Really? You only like Juzam gin? Urnum gin? Urnum gin's my favorite gin. What's that one, dude? You wanna know what Urnum gin does? Not off the top of my head. God. Why you gotta? Why? Why, why do you hurt me so much? Why do you want to hurt me? It's my only quest in life. You know, I hope you complete it one day. <laughs> We get to go questing beast next turn. Oh, they get to go up this turn, I guess. Jesus. Good lord, man. Or we can just save it and play Oketra next turn. I think we I think we try to wait one turn. As long as you're not blocking with we'll Oketra. I would not block that guy with Oketra. It's gonna be a lot of damage, man. It's only four. And then four again. Yeah, but then we make zombos for Dezos. Jeff Dezos. It's like Jeff Bezos. Ooh, Barky boy. So I knew you, I knew Jeff Bezos had like infinite money, but I didn't realize how much infinite it actually was. It's not a real amount. It's like a hundred. He's worth apparently like 165 billion. Which is insane. Okay, if they can't deal with this, we get to go one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five. Yeah, we can play these two, I guess. Make two four fours. Okay, that's fine. That's like most of your turn, I think. Maybe. Don't Assassin's Trophy, my god, eternal low catcher. Don't do it. Did it do that to their upkeep? That's interesting. Okay, they have two. Oh my god. It never gets. Never gets easier, my friend. Never gets easier. This is why 
This is why I was locked to put four God Eternal and catch this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we can do that. Trading. Would you like to trade, little beastie boy? I think we're dead. Because they have 4 4 4, so we go block the fours and they attack, and we still take the million here, so. This is our first loss. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Also These good. Get awful dark. I have so much money, the only thing I can really do with is build spaceships. Yeah, or, you know, help humanity, but. I'm, I'm sure spaceships are cool. Wait, they just died. Wait, why didn't they kill us? I don't know if I... Click. I don't know if I understand what's happening right now. Actually, pretty okay here, but <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Yep, that's pretty good. He's so rich, he could solve world hunger for like 10 years. Something ridiculous like that. Hope you're ready. It seems fortune favors you. I want to sacrifice. Oh, that's they're not. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if we're dead. I feel pretty dead now. You're certainly dead if he does the right thing. What's the right thing? Attack him. You got the right thing, baby. Hey man, remember that time your dad left? Oh yeah. That thing was brutal, big man. Oh yeah, big tip. Scarfedon, thanks so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. I'll sack him. Yep, I'm gonna sack that wolf. I feel like we're way behind here. Growth Chamber Guardian is a solid dude. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Might be better than Bark Hide Troll. It's probably better than Bark Hide Troll, actually. And it's easier on the mana. Bark Hide Troll is cool because it gets um, a counter, but like so does Growth Chamber Guardian for the proliferate. Well, any creature getting hit by Legion's End is miserable. Are you okay? Hey, man. You got a new nightstand coming. Apparently. You're gonna have to post this in the group chat. Oh, I will. Michael B's moving up in the world. <laughs> I'll finally have a piece of furniture outside of my desk in bed. 
And your desk is just like a table. What's a desk? Why did you get a desk? I bought it from you, remember? The Ikea one. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Paid you like 40 bucks or something. Yeah, something like that. I don't remember how much it was, but... Mike's all Mike's possessions are literally just my stuff that I that I got rid of because I I didn't I, I upgraded. Hey man, that's how buying things work. That's how buying things work. Is it? Yeah. And I'm really hoping I win this Dunkin' Donut prize. <laughs> no one knows what that means. Well, there's a contest going around. One of the one of the grand prizes is a twenty five hundred dollar gift card to Amazon. Just buy. A I would just buy a brand new PC. Twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, probably get a just pretty decent one for that. Yeah, you could. You know what else you can get? Hmm. A nightstand, boy. <laughs> I get seven hundred nightstands. What? What? You get a nightstand. <laughs> you get a nightstand. Mike B, what are you gonna put on your nightstand? Uh, CPAP machine. You don't even use it. I do use it. It just doesn't. I'm using it. It's just not working out the exact way I want it to. How's how? What would you like it to work out? I'd like to be able to sleep a full night with it, but I haven't been able to so far. I've it, gotten like two hours deep, three hours deep. It's getting there. It's not a net loss. Didn't cost me anything, also, so that's cool. It, it might just cost you your fucking life, though, dude. <laughs> um, what were we looking for? Looking for like uh, my phone, my tablet. That's about it. Oh, and my drinks. What, what was the question? What goes on the nightstand? Yeah, what are you going to put on your nightstand? What are you going to put on it, man? Share with I us. I just said. Share it. Tell us again. Tell us. Tell us like one of your French girls. Oh, snap. I should have gotten Mike be a CPAP nightstand. What does that mean? Aren't, aren't all nightstands can be a CPAP nightstand? You just put it on the nightstand, man. Maybe you. Maybe Kurt's got some really fancy... I bet he does. Nightstand that has like the CPAP built into it or something. That'd be kind of cool. Got a little thing to pour the water in. Stop it. <laughs> no. Um, I think I want God Eternal Catcher. I think it's. 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 Oh, uh, da 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 da. Boritos, boritos, boritos. They have, they make ones that have like a hole on the side of the nightstand so the tubes can come out and then you pull out the sleeve inside so you can get it. Oh, that's kind of cool. You like you like a hole on the side so you can pull out the sleeve? Is that, your, <laughs> is that something you're looking for? Yeah, man. Hey, you got a hole inside I can pull out the sleeve. How come it's not showing up? Where is it? Oh, it's not under these two types. All right, let's try two great Henji boys. Really? Yeah, why not? You got a problem? I just don't think we're going to be casting it that consistently. Maybe you're not. <whistles> My nightstand is just a piece of wood. Isn't that what all nightstands are? Basically just a piece of wood. You know, with legs. Maybe a drawer. If you're real fancy. I got legs, Greg. Can you put things on me like a nightstand? Yeah, man. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Man, I gotta go to the airport. Mine is like four pieces of weed in the morning. Four pieces of weed? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> God damn. No drawers, no legs, no doors, just a piece of wood. So it's just like a block of wood. I guess that works. It's like an old tree stump. That would be kind of cool for a nice thing, actually, if it was like a legit tree stump. I wish it was a legit tree stump. If we can draw a land, I would be so thrilled about it. Oh, I guess it's our turn, so... I guess not. My nightstand is just my floor. I should do something about that. See, look. 
I got one over Josh. Yes. Do you? At least I have a night sand. He's got the floor. Hmm. Maybe I can give him my old box. Isn't that better? Because you're using trash. It's not trash, okay? It has a purpose. It carries a PC if you ever need to move. So it has a purpose. Do you need... Do Although eventually I'm going to get a new PC, so it'll have no purpose after that. But, you know, whatever. Yikes, that's actually kind of scary. My nightstand is a three foot long table covered in playmats. That's a pretty big nightstand. Can I get a Yorvo? Thanks for tuning in to Nightstand Chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm your host, uh, you play Magic Lee. in the background. Uh, you know, just for something to look at. Get in there with your one, two, floaty lifey boy. I don't have anywhere else to store the table, so I decided to make it. An I don't know if that's how nightstands work. This is basically just a table. Oh, this is some weird, some weird deck. Well, that's something, all right. Boy, I really need to kill this thing, don't I? That's a yikes for me, dog. No, Yorvo is an entrance battlefield trigger because otherwise it would die immediately. This is all very fascinating. I need to find a way to kill this. No blocks. No diggity. I like the bang and bang. Why did you block? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Hmm. I thought I missed something, but it turns out you just don't. Yeah, that's it's just me being. I'm just not good at Magic the Gathering. Oh, me neither. All right, land one time. I'll kill. The, I'll kill this hushy hush. Hushy hush brings. Good job. Thank you. I try. I have a zappy do one damage to your doopy doop. The zappy do all damage to the doopy do. Yeah. Fuck. That's how you know it's bad. What is this? You just gonna you just gonna sorcery this thing? All right, see you later. Time wipe. I don't even have anything to proliferate onto. She. I have survived Nico Bolos, and I will survive. With my aim and their claws, you're done. Well, if you want a time wipe here, that's totally fine. Kill my geese. Kill my geese. Oh, you're just gonna get something else. Well, this is exciting. Is Mike B a scatting genius? That's a good question. Zoop zop zoopity dop skibidi doop bop bop skibidi doo. There you go. There you go. We da ba ba da ba. We da ba ba da ba da ba da ba dee. One two three four five. Okay, sure. All these are fine. I need some caffeine, don't we all? Don't we all? I'd get out of the way if I were you. You don't want to play your hasty boy? Oh, they have a time wipe. That's right. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put collector. Here 
I got a time wipe here. Fascinating. Four, five, six, seven, nine, thirteen damage. If I were you, is your mommy calling you? No, Michael, it's your mother. It's it's your mommy. I was just wondering if your nightstand's doing okay. I think my mom asked me about my nightstand. <laughs> I mean, it just seems interesting, that's all. Now, it's time wipe time. Okay. Look at that. Seven. If they play another mana, they can actually steal two things. Sure. Questing beef? Sonny would be legit. Okay, man. Hmm? Are you okay? I'm doing just fine, buddy. Are you? I'm hungry, but other than that, I'm going hungry. That's a, that's a Temple of the Dog song. You know Temple of the Dog? Oh, I didn't know that was for. for. Wow, this card prison Roman and Arsa just to return that to their hand. Man, they must have some good sideboard tech.
portfolio of fancies. What are they gonna mill us? What is even happening right now? Oh wait, with Narset that's great. Because they're like, let's draw four cards each, and I'm like, okay, cool. And they're like, you can't, dr you draw one, and I'm like, oh no, that's terrible. Pretty sure there's nothing in our deck we could draw that would actually get us out of this. Yep, that is not gonna do it. Alright. I'm hoing hungry! Man, that's so sad. That deck seemed unfun. It seemed good. Really? Yeah. It seemed pretty dirtily to me. Yeah, but I mean, all control decks are dirtily. Whatever. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I think this hand is a keep. Fine, I'll keep it, okay? Is that good enough for you? I feel like I'm being attacked. Why does he why is he like this? Why don't you just go take your fancy nightstand and just get out of here? Wow, uh, super aggro. Very aggressive. Why are they coming out with a sequel to that movie? Are you, you know, you know Teddy KGB? Yeah. How's he doing these days? That's what I want to know. That's why they got to make a sequel. Okay, just that relax. Rude. Your vote. That's not your vote. I guess we'll just play 2 3. I don't mind stealing my B from Michael B. Cause I can't be on the balance. They didn't attack. So I'm gonna kill one of them. You ready? I'm gonna kill him. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to him. He did. You picked the wrong fight. Got him. Did you see me get him? But now your vib's gonna die. You have another one, I guess. I can Wait, is it Planeswalker too? Dang. Oh, you got Vidge. Well, I'll this just kills it. But then we get to eat this guy, so it's kind of like... Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that card's busted. If a red source to deal damage to an opponent or a permanent, it deals two plus damage. So this, th this just hit for three. Oh, wow. Do you guys remember when Rob was like, no, there's no way there's going to be a Tor brand Calvacade deck. And like, it's literally one of the decks we played against today. That's super cool. Hard to say, man. Hard to say. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Actually, I probably just want to kill something. Man, she's too small to like. Six. Yeah, we just never had enough. Um. And I can't read on the powerless. 
I think we just have to kill something, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems correct. Because this deals one damage, but it's actually dealing three damage because of Torbran. Which seems pretty good. So, like, she's basically dead anyway. I might as well just kill a thing. I wish I could kill Torbran. I can't. With my aim and their claws, you're done. You're done. Kill dumb guy. What? He's talking about you. Oh. Uh, what? So this is what? Four damage? Even that thing is brutal right now. So this guy's gonna deal four? If I can just... Okay, let's definitely get rid of this dude if we can. That's fine. But I can't feed on the powers. God. I've never, I've yet to cast a creature after, uh, after having got, well, this is why I don't like this in the deck. I, that's why I said I didn't like right, it. Right, that's why, it's, that's what I said, but people were like, try it, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'll try it. And it's a cool card, but like, we can't play it next turn if we draw land. No, because that'd be eight. <laughs> Literally two more lands. Like, oh, nine. I thought it was eight for some reason. Because you're dumb. That's probably why, yeah. And I can't feel my powers. I guess we could actually play it if we... It'll cost one less. Yeah, I think we just leave this guy up, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we hit a land... Oh, no, we can use Castle Gristleburger. Castle Gristleburger. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Can you just use the mana in my pool? Oh, it can only be used for creatures. Ha 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 ha! Just kidding. <laughs> oh, with Tapland. Tapland? Ugh, God, I'm just vomiting. Oh, man. Oh, well. We had a good run. Well, RTFC. <laughs> How did you not know exactly what this card did the very first day you've played with it ever? I don't understand. <laughs> yep, this is some yikes. That is a yikes. From me. Dog. Sorry, I didn't mean to come that with me. I, it's just the it's the F in RTFC. No worries, buddy. No worries. What can we draw here, you think? Got a kind of catcher? Sounds good. So if we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're probably dead. Just don't have anything at all. Oh, that kills us, I believe. You think everything is dealing two extra damage? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve extra damage. You think that'll kill us? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Not one hundred percent though. It did. I'm only like. Yeah, I think Henge is trash in this deck. I love Henge. I just don't think this is the deck for it. Um. Castle's fine, like just we just couldn't cast Henge with it. I kinda like Voracious Hydra in here. And the cup's already over here. Yeah. Wow, 132,000 gems. God, I wish these got transferred to my regular account. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy? Yeah. Was that greedy? Yeah, man. Was it? Yeah, you can't just get free gems like that, man. You can't just be giving out gems all willy-nilly. <coughs> they actually can. They're a company that's probably fine. Why can't they do that? They can't. Why can't they? They can. God. Why? Why do you exist? 
to torture me? I don't me? know, man. That's really that's ex that's existential, dude. Why do you exist? Are you calling your mom? No. Tell her I said hi. Okay, I will. Here. Oh, right now. Let me I'm talk. Streaming. Let me talk to her. Okay. Hello, Michael's mom. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't have a nightstand. No, it's just a computer box that he gets his nail clippers stuck in. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell him. She said your dad's never coming back. Okay. <laughs> Great. Sorry, you had to hear it this way. I find rare and mythic filters super useful when hunting for cards. Yeah, but I just want to see all the cards, not just the rares and the mythics, man. Oh, I'll go take a nap. I'll be back when you're done. Wow. See, you say that, but I don't even think you're joking. That's the thing. Wow. What about what about Bronto Don instead of Evolution Sage? Yeah, I feel like Evolution Sage is too late in the game for. I like, just don't think we're proliferating play. that much. Yeah, I can see that change. But then, like, we probably don't need Knight of Autumn and Bronto Don. It is a three four though. It's just a big boy. There's bigger boys though. Wow. It's all about the size for you, huh? Mike loves those bigger boys. Wow. What about... Chang what about, what, about, what, about, what about? No. <laughs> no. Just no. No. A Johnny? What's, what about Gideon? I was thinking that. I'm like, what's a Gideon Blackblade? Seems good. A two of, I like it. Seems real good. Definitely better than that guy. You might want to mana take base forest and out of planes. Yeah, just one. I think it's good. It, just a one. I'm gonna take out one of these castles too. We'll just add two planes. Um. Everything else seems fine. All right, we'll give this another. Is it not 60 cards? We're missing one card? Interesting. How's that possible? How many, how many, how is that possible? 23 lands, that's right. Um, what else do we take out? Well, all these Raptor does proliferate onto Gideon and Vivian. I don't know if I do want Once Upon a Time. What's that do? What do you do? Dang it. Thank you. Runa Cape, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Splash Nickel Bolas. Oh, I am missing Happily Ever After. That's true. What even is that? You don't I know? I don't know. I'm to take out one Knight of Autumn. I'm putting two Paradise Druids. Really? Yeah. Why not? Just doesn't seem necessary. Our mana requirements are pretty low. It's just a creature, man. Cast it. This is a stupid two one. Who even cares? Ramps about us that? to these four drops, buddy. I guess. We'll find out who needs what once we're battling in the arena. Plus, like we have the voracious hydras and expel. Like, I guess we did add those. <sighs> Michael, dude, I want some tacos, bro. Yeah, so do I. Okay. I'm going hungry. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Whoa, that's a crazy avatar. I don't. Wow. Who is that? Just a zombie, I think. Okay, that's racist. Snapped it? Yeah, why not? We need like oh, two whites. Really? Because I thought this made white. I it don't makes know. one white. Okay, one so time. we need one white then. Yeah. Okay, so why'd you say two? Yeah. Well, it's only one white one time, though. How many times do we need it? I don't know, like seven? Okay, well, there's an Oketra, so don't worry about your life. Okay? Get him. Get him. Could just play four, four, three this turn. Seems okay. It seem, also, if we, if we find another white, we can proliferate onto it next turn with the Raptor. I don't mind Michael B. Wow. 
This is what you're gonna do? I guess it's just got Eternal Oketra. Maybe not. It's so greedy, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, a third green doesn't really do too much for us, really. That was my feeling. You didn't pellet collector? No, I'm gonna make a make a food man. A food man? I'm making a food man. Get him. Get him. Wow, that's rude. That is one rude dude. Yeah, not the worst thing to get killed. Oh wow. Well, this card's terrifying. Yeah, that card's good. I don't think they're gonna make a sacrifice because then they'd have to sacrifice their guy. Maybe they will though. That'd be great. We would just make a token of response. Yeah, but then we can't sacrifice it, so it doesn't really matter. Then we'd have more food. Yes, but we don't have more mana. And they would have no food. No food! Raid! Remember those commercials? Oh wait, I can't actually do this because yeah, I can't, can't make two. Oh. So you need another bird. Don't concede, cancel. Um. Yeah, that's rough. Jeez. Yeah, they're not like treasures. Oh, uh, that is not a Planeswalker deck, Vivian. No, no Planeswalker deck, Planeswalkers cost more than cost less than five. Well, that was pretty good. To my knowledge. You think? They didn't do anything? None of the abilities? Weird. Weird flex, but okay. Fascinating. How about a white mana? Nope, guess not. Now they're gonna play this guy. This black deck's weird. They're gonna play Yarok, make us exile a card. Make us sacrifice this guy. Yep, this is all down. Man, those first few matches were great. Oh, really? That's your play? That's much better. Why not just save it and make us sacrifice it? Sure. Green sources of plenty. Yeah, I don't like Gideon already because of the mana base, but... I feel like I can just wait, try to kill a rankle with this next turn. Because we can, we get this next turn, which is six, which means we get to four of them. Yeah, attacking with the Fenler. I don't understand what's going on here. What happened? Why did that get... Did they choose each player sacrifice as a creature? No, because we lost a life. They, they can fine. choose more than one. Oh. What's going on? What is happening right now? Well, we didn't hit a land, even though we drew a million guards. I don't understand what's happening. Nope, cancel that. Is 
Are they doing some shenanigans? Like... They definitely feel like they're flexing as hard as they can. It's kind of funny. I don't know what's going on. I'm just really confused, guys. Don't fall asleep, man. Okay. I didn't. This time. There's no achievements in the VIP thing. This is a different client. This is not the regular Magic Arena client. This is the VIP client. No one gets to keep their their things. Yeah, this game. Man, that was that was sad. That was sad. Yeah, we're on a hot streak at first. I mean, we just don't have enough. We can make a four four snake, but then they have a four five, so it just doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, we went from a hot streak. I'm not sure like. I feel like the next missing something. I'm just not what to put in it. But like, I think we still went like three three, right? Which is not terrible. We cr the first three rounds we crushed in like twenty minutes. It was pretty nuts. Um, yeah, the deck's missing something. I don't know. What it I is. wonder if is if if Barkhide Troll is just better than Growth Chamber Guardian. It felt like we had better results, but like, it was a three three for two instead of a two two, and that was kind of a big deal. I think the mana base might need to be worked over a little bit too. Yeah, I wish there was better two color lands. But either way, Jake, really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the uh, for the deck to test. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check them out on patreon.com slash Frank And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to check out the uh, links in the description. I have new articles going up on coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. You can check them out on manatraders.com. And uh, feel free to head on over to twitch.tv slash Frank and give me a subscribe or a follow. Those help me out a ton. But uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.